Hi guys! So this is my attempt at a ringleader outfit because I just got done reading the book Water for Elephants and watching the movie Water for Elephants, which is about the circus. So I tried to dress up like a ringmaster, if that's taken. I'm going to try to not have book spoilers or movie spoilers for this review, just to let you know. So the plot for the book Water for Elephants is um, there's a guy named Jacob and his parents die when he's about to take his final exam his last year of college at Cornell to become a vet. This leaves him an orphan with no family and it's during the depression era so his father has been kind of taking payment as like eggs and milk and whatever anybody can give him uh, for his services as a vet owning his own practice. So the bank has to take Jacob's house and everything leaving him not only an orphan but also homeless. Jacob just starts walking and ends up finding a train and he jumps aboard it and quickly finds out that it's a circus train. They give him a job at first as like a laborer and then he does security for like the, these tents where guys will go see this woman strip and then afterward can sleep with her for a quarter. And then they go talk to guy, this guy named August who's the superintendent of the animals and he almost throws him out of the circus completely and off of the train but then August finds out that Jacob almost graduated Cornell as a vet, and so he decides to keep him. August is married to the main star of the show, and her name is Marlena. She works with like the horses, and almost instantly Jacob is attracted to her and kind of falls in love with her. But Jacob's first act as a vet is to diagnose a problem with one of Marlena's horses, and it turns out it's one that's kind of irreversible, and Jacob tells him that he's going to have to put the horse down, which leaves the circus without its jewel attraction. Meanwhile, the circus this whole time has been, if one circus goes belly up, which happens a lot during the Depression, the circus, the Benzini Brothers Circus, will go along and pick up various acts from it. And they found out that there's this freak at this one defunct circus, so they want to go pick him up right away. So they skip a bunch of other shows and just go straight to this one place. And the freak is gone by the time they get there, but they find an elephant named Rosie. And August has been trying to get an elephant act for a really long time, and since they don't have the horses, he's like, I want to make this my number one act. In the course of the book, Jacob kind of finds out that one minute August can be like the most charming creature on the planet, and then the next be pretty fucking crazy and violent and angry. He sees this a lot more in August when August starts to notice the kind of chemistry between him and Marlena, and also when August can't get the elephant to do anything he wants. And she keeps doing like little stuff, like she drinks all the lemonade one time, and for the whole circus so they can't sell lemonade properly that day and one time she runs out of the tent and it causes Marlena to kind of hurt herself a little and so he just starts beating the shit out of this poor elephant on numerous occasions. Finally they figure out that there's a language barrier with Rosie and when they fix it she becomes like this huge hit and uh, so one night to celebrate Marlena is like hey I'm gonna have this surprise for August could you come back to my tent with Rosie? And they're all dressed up, and they go to throw the surprise, but August somehow thinks that Marlene and Jacob were screwing around and he just walked in on them, even though they were popping champagne. And so he goes into one of his freaking crazy fits, hits Marlena and calls her a bunch of names and stuff. So Jacob freaks out on him, and they start getting a fight and wailing on each other. Marlena kind of hides from August with Jacob's help. The story hits its climax, and it's ending when the former circus performers that, being, that were thrown off the train earlier come back and let all these animals out of the menagerie in their cages during this one show, which leads to this huge stampede and the book's shocking conclusion. So, um, my thoughts on the book. Uh, I didn't know how I'd feel about it at first because I'm not really into circuses, like, at all. But I thought it was really good and I didn't want to put it down because the details were, like, freaking fantastic. I didn't really see the ending coming, which I liked, even though the prologue to the book is the final scene of the book. And one other thing that I thought was cool was the author is a woman, but her voice, the, the main character is a man, and I thought she did really well at portraying a man and like, not letting on that, hey, I have a woman wrote the book. My only problems were like the, the jargon of the circus, they could have touched more on it or had like a glossary in the back that you keep going back and forth to while you're reading it, because I felt like the circus terms weren't really that clear. There were some kind of, sometimes events that kind of whiz by a little quick, and like, like there's two characters that die. And they don't really, like, mention it later on that much. Movie compared to the book. As usual, the book was a lot better than the movie. Um, they kind of changed the personalities of a couple of the characters. Like, Marlena is a lot sweeter in the book. And then Jacob in the movie is kind of more lighthearted and laughs things off a lot, which I thought was weird. Naturally, there's some minor, like, inconsistencies between the plots and the events of the book and the 
movie that bugged me just because I read the book. I felt the biggest thing was the movie was more rushed than the book. They were trying to just get over telling the story instead of doing the book justice like the movie is really supposed to do when it's an adaptation of a book. So yeah, that's my review for Water for Elephants. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. Possibly... I got this out just for myself. It's Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. I don't know if I'm going to include it in the book club review thing or not. I could do a review if you guys want me to. And then, um, Leslie gave me this book before. It's called The Book of Cordzons, and I've been wanting to read it. So I think I will read that as for, for, like, the book club as, like, a book that was recommended for me that my friends didn't read. That's all I have for now. Love you guys. Bye.